Hey guys, welcome back to the next video of Nail IB's Economics HLN SL for the IB Diploma. All right, this in this video we will be talking about two main concepts. All right, economic decision makers and factors of production. Without any further delay, let's head to it. Okay, now I've been making repeated references to economic decision makers. All right, now economic decision makers are those people who act in an economy, all right? They are the people, all right? They are the agents that are making the choices at the end of the day. And as we know, choice is the foundation of economics. Economics is a study of decision-making, all right? Who are these people? They are, all right, the households, individuals like yourself, like myself, like your family members, individuals, and collectively also known as household, all right? The second type of decision maker, all right, is business, all right? The decision maker, they're businesses, firms, companies that, you know, employ people and produce things that people want and need, okay? And the final decision maker, all right, the type of decision maker is the government, all right? The government also spends, the government also makes decisions and its decisions affect us all, all right? but even our decisions affect firms and the government and the decisions of businesses and firms also affect the government and us so the key concept here is interdependence right how everyone's decision affects everyone we can never say that anything in economics all right is carried out in the absence of other influences all right we can only say that when we have the Cetris Paribus assumption working with us, when we assume everything else stays the same, all right? Now, essentially, in the macroeconomic sense, all right, the world economy comprises of these actors, all right? And they determine the market forces in a free economy. In a free economy, these economic decision makers act with complete autonomy, all right? And they are often called consumers and producers. Consumers are those who buy goods and services, all right? And producers are those who produce those goods and services, okay? So the economic decision makers are those who essentially run the economy, all right? Indirectly or directly, okay? They are the people whose choices affect the economic outcome, okay? Moving on, what are the factors of production, okay? Resources, factors, inputs, and factors of production are all the same thing, okay? There are four main factors of production, all right? The first one is land. Land is a reference to, the fa uh, to all the natural factors of production that are used in the production of goods and services. An example of producing something would be book, all right? What is the natural element that has gone into making this book? Wood pulp, right? How is the paper made? Wood pulp, all right? Then you have fabric over here. Then you have another set of fabric. Essentially, anything that is natural, that is nature given, all right, is a land factor of production, okay? It is all the natural resources used in the production process. The next factor of production is labor, all right? It is the human contribution, all right? In terms of the manual effort, the mental effort that has been contributed towards producing a product, all right? Like a house, builders build it. When, and essentially builders build it with natural products. So we see land, we see natural products like wood, cement and everything being combined with the labor of people to produce a finished product. So labor is the human contribution in producing a good or service, all right? The capital is the next factor of production, all right? It is essentially anything that is man-made that is used to produce more goods and services. Machinery, a newspaper factory has these massive machines, all right? Printers that produce reams and reams of newspapers every day. That is capital for that newspaper production company, right? It is man-made. Those machineries have been made by other people, all right? And they are themselves manufactured products, but they are used to produce 
other products, okay? Capital is essentially machinery or any man-made product that is used to make other products, okay? And the final factor of production here is also known as enterprise, okay? Enterprise is the ability of some people, not everyone, of some people to organize and effectively combine the other three factors of production to make sure a product is formed. Entrepreneurship is essentially the ability to manage, to innovate, to take ownership of outcome and risk while effectively organizing the other three factors of production. It is essentially how some business leaders, all right, take decisions and risks to produce certain goods and services, all right? And no matter which product you can think of, all right, they all use these four factors of production, all right? Name anything. The laptop I'm recording this on, all right, the tube light in my room, they all use all these factors of production. How? My laptop. It has natural resources, land, such as metal, precious metals, soldering, which is all natural material, all right? It is built by someone. It is assembled by someone in a factory. Capital, all right? Why? Because another machine made the glass, made the circuits. And entrepreneurship, it is the person who runs the company that effectively combined and organized resources in a manner which allowed this entire final product to be created. So we see that all goods and services use these four factors of production. And a fun way to remember all of them is by an acronym, CELL, C-E-L-L, -L -L. Capital, Entrepreneurship, Labor, Land, CELL, all right? Remember, no product is produced without one of them. All products are produced using all four factors of production, all right? And that's pretty much it for this video, all right? In the next video, we will be looking at a different topic, all right? We'll be looking at an, uh, a further topic and moving forward to completing chapter one. So until then, all right, stay safe and good night.